It's an easy and fast method. The oral self-test can be done privately at home. Results are obtained in 20 minutes after swabbing the kit in the mouth and dipping it in a testing solution. When the kit is put into the solution, it will either develop one band or two bands. If there is a band that develops on the C, there is a letter C and there is a letter T on the kit. So if the band develops on letter C, in the direction of letter C, that person is HIV negative. If the band develops only at letter T, that is an invalid result because you have to have C, which is called a control condition. It has to be at C and then at T if one is positive. Many Ugandans do not know their HIV status for fear of being stigmatized. The government says most of these are men who will now be educated to carry out HIV tests by themselves, making it much more convenient. The Ministry of Health says only about 45% of men in Uganda have been tested for HIV. Men don't like to come to the health facilities. They are busy or they fear that when you go to the testing, to the facility, you'll be tested. Yeah, at least there's that fear. So the issue of being busy and, the, you know, I don't have money to go to the facility is now removed. The kid has found you at home. While the World Health Organization has approved the kit, Ugandan health officials are still conducting studies before rolling it out to the public. Some activists fear that because there is no pre-counseling, the HIV testing method does not adequately prepare a person for the results. It's the matter of discrimination and stigma that has failed to go down despite all these years. Because if HIV was taken like any other disease. For example, if they test you of diabetes, or if they tell someone they're hypertensive, they're not worried that that person might go back and kill themselves. But when it gets to HIV, the story is different. Uganda has made strides in the fight against HIV AIDS, especially among newborn babies. A few years back, the government introduced mandatory HIV tests for all pregnant women, which has significantly reduced mother-to-child transmissions. The conventional HIV tests in Uganda take place in a health facility and require blood samples. Health officials say this is what prevents people from taking the test. But it's hoped the HIV self-test kit will encourage more people to take the test and seek treatment if diagnosed. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN in Kampala.